All right, Shalom. <clears throat> All praise and honor and glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Waha Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Aki out there pushing his word in true sincerity. So I want to do this lesson and I want to entitle this lesson. All right, provoke, uh, provoke not the Lord to jealousy. All right. And uh, as a whole, our nation, um, the nation of Israel, you black, Hispanic and Native Americans, you have moved the most high to jealousy. All right. Because the Yahweh, while Yahweh shy, we are married unto them, married unto them. All right. We are married unto them and we are likened unto a woman. All right. And, and as you wouldn't like your woman to uh, go out and play the harlot. Go out and be a hoe, so to speak. Are right, you fed her? You clothed, clothed her? All right, you gave her counsel? Are right, you protected her? And then she goes out and she goes and lays with another man. Not just any man. He, she lays with several different men. All right, and then boast about it in your face. In your face. So, so, so. Also, I was meditating. This is all also to do with brothers in in this uh, in this truth. All right, because there's a lot of different things uh, in this world. That you can uh, you can get into, all right. But ultimately, if you if you put your heart into them and you and you use that time, um, uh, you use that time to uh, get into those different things, whatever it may be, in the world, all right. That's time away from your husband. That's time away from Yahweh Yahweh Shai, and the Lord He's going to get jealous, all right. He's going to be jealous. He's going to be very jealous because He's very jealous over you, all right. We are we are we are likened unto a woman. All right. And the Lord, the Lord is our husband. OK, so I got a couple of precepts. So let me get right into the precepts. This is uh, this is first Corinthians 10 and 19. What say I then that the idol is not is is anything or that is offered. Let me read it again. What say I then that the idol is anything or that which is offered and sacrificed to idols is anything. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to the Most High. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. That's right. Um, every Because anything that you put your heart into, ultimately, it's an it's a idol. All right, because you're worshiping it. All right, so the Gentiles, which which are people and the other nations, they when they sacrifice, when they when they give their... Uh, when they give their, their praises and their blessings to their God, they're, they're actually sacrificing to, to, to devils, to, to wicked evil spirits. All right. And that and 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 that 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 will turn the most high against you. Ultimately, that was the reason why our nation went into captivity, because we went and we start worshiping these other gods. All right. Because we're supposed to worship. We're supposed to worship our heavenly father, which means to serve. OK. And give him credence. All right. Do what he do what he do what he tells you to do. Just like a, a woman, just like your woman's supposed to do that. You women, you women are supposed to worship your husbands. Meaning, anything that your husband say, you have to do it. All right, just like the scriptures, anything that our 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 husband says, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, we have to do it. All right, we did not do that. All right, so it says, you cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers in the Lord's table. And of the table of devils. Yeah, you can't have two husbands. All right. All right. You can't be you can't be in these different philosophies and then try to mesh it with the truth. All right. The truth is a standalone. All right. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? Yeah. So do you provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are right, you into uh, you're into making money? All right. You're into a physical woman on a physical woman or women. Are you into going out all the time? Are you putting your energy into that? You're putting your energy into these different doctrines. All right, you're not reading the scriptures as much. You're not studying as much. All right, that's time away from your husband. Okay. And and your husband is going to become jealous. All right. Uh, and and one or one or two things can happen. Or right, he can cast you off. All right. Or he can or he can put hell on you and get you right. All right. And that's and that's what we want. We want the Lord to put us through hell so we can get right. All right. So we're we're not supposed to, and that's 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 part of this truth. You just catching that hell, the Lord, pretty much bringing you back to Him, okay? So we're we're not supposed to be uh, we're not supposed to provoke the Lord to jealousy because the Lord He's a very jealous power. Now in verse twenty three, it says all things are lawful for me. So everything, you, so there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of liberty 
within the law. All right, there's a lot of things that you can do, but all things are not expedient. All things are not uh, profitable. Okay, the time, all things have a season, and, and, and a lot of things right now are are not expedient. Okay, because we we have to pretty much serve our Lord, serve our serve, serve our husband. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. And then in 1 Corinthians, the sixth chapter, uh, Paul says, I would not be brought under the power of any. All right. We're supposed to be un brought under the power of Yah Bashim al Shai and casting off all these idols in the form of these different pleasures of the flesh. Because that's basically what it is, because you get you get some type of benefit serving these different gods. All right. Uh, Satan, Satan can bless you. All right. And, and that blessing is appeasing to the flesh. And that's taking you away from your true husband, which is Yahweh Shai. So um, let me, this is Exodus 20 and 1. And, and the Most High spake all these words saying, I am, I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So anything that you put your effort into, uh, ultimately that can, be, that can be deemed as a God, which is a power. Which a power is just energy, right? You put you put your energy into something and you worship something, whether it be clothes, shoes, women. All right, you want power on this side. You want fame on this side. Or you want to appease the flesh on this side. That's you worshiping the, that's you worshiping other gods. That's you, wor that's you worshiping idols and devils. Thou shalt not make any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath or that is un. That is in the water under the earth. Now, nowadays, you know, uh, you know, Jay's not really heavy into idol worship per se, like a physical idol, but they spiritually wor worship these different idols. They worship these different brands, designer brands. They worship sports. They put their heart into uh, 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 women, their family. Uh, they worship the community, and those all all those things um, tie back into a, a spirit. They tie back into an idol, like. The, the community are you got Israelites that are heavy into the community oh we got to do this the community well that's a god of Baral Barith okay uh you sell you celebrate in Saturday a salad Saturday is your is your day to go out all right you celebrate in Saturn's day okay uh Sunday you worship on Sunday you worship in the you worship in the sun okay you are into these different brands like Nike all right that, that those are different goddesses those are different gods Roman and Greek gods all right. And then ultimately you worship Caesar Bogier, you worship in yourself. So even like it unto brothers in the truth, when you put your energy into something else outside of this, outside of this word, all right, you're going off and you're committing spiritual uh, fornication, which is adultery. All right. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. And that's exactly what you're doing, nor serve them. When you're into these different philosophies, when you're into these different doctrines, all right, when you're when you're into um, when you're putting your energy, your time and energy into anything outside of the Lord, all right, which you know you got to have balance with all things. But if you're putting that 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 hard earned energy that you will put to your husband serving your husband, all right, because even if you have a woman, you know you let your woman do, you know she watch watch TV, you know she talk to her girls on the phone. You you don't bother her, you know she she she's on the internet. All right. She, you don't bother her, but then there's certain tasks that she has to do to, to make you happy. All right. So she you you give her liberty. So the Lord, he gives us liberty. Right. He gives us liberty. At the same time, we have to we have to uh, do we have to do uh, give benevolence to our husband. We have to serve him. Yahweh Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, for I am Yahweh thy power and a jealous power. So the Lord is jealous, man. All right. What a very, very uh, 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 great jealousy over us. All right. We're just not any, we're just not any just regular people. All right. The Lord, the Lord gets hurt. All right. The Lord actually has feelings. The Lord gets hurt when you go out and you worship and you put your time into something else. All right. When you can be, uh, when you can be uh, uh, seeking after him. All right. Putting your trust in him. Visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children of the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me. So if you, yeah, if you hate the Lord, the Lord's going to get you back in the reincarnation. That's what this talking about, the children unto the third and fourth generation. All right, because you come back every third and fourth generation. That's why we were judged so heavy because the uh, we went out and we played the harlot. All right, let me uh, let me get that in Jeremiah, the third chapter, actually. Uh, uh, I'll start. 
the whole chapter is pretty good, but I, I'm, I'm going to try to get straight to the point. This is uh, Jeremiah 3 and 8. And I saw... Um, and I saw when all for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery and it wasn't physical adultery. It was spiritual adultery by serving and worshiping other gods, worshiping other idols. All right. Worshiping these these different these different gods of the other nations worshiping themselves. OK, give me a second. It says I have put her away. You see, the Lord, he put us away for a particular time. Now, now he's being, now he, we're coming back to him. All right. So now that we, uh, we know this truth, like the scripture saying, Baruch, uh, search him 10 times more. So we got to serve. We, we are, we are once a, 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 a pretty much a hoe. All right. We went out there. We played the harlot. We played a whore. So say, say your woman went out and played the whore. All right. She went out and played the whore for a particular time. Laid down with all type of men. All right. And you take her back. All right, the Lord, he, he took us back, man. He cleaned us up. All right, through his son. Through his son, Yahweh Shai. So you, you man, you, in your mind, man, you got to be like, oh, man, I, I'm dirty, man. I got I to gotta, I gotta do whatever it takes to make Yahweh Shemal Shai happy. All right? Because <laughs> he can cast me away at any given moment. And we're going to get that, the fire of his jealousy. All right? And giving her a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not. But went and played the harlot also. So the northern kingdom is heavy into idolatry, heavy into worshiping other gods. They went and played the harlot. And the Lord gave gave her a bill of divorce. That's why they're so bugged out. And then Judah, which is supposed to be the head tribe, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, that's the, the southern kingdom. They went and played the, the harlot also. And it came to pass through the light of her whoredom. See, whoredom. All right, and, you, and you know, you talk about all these women, this and that, that and this. Well, we played whoredom. We, we went and played the whore. All right. Spiritually, we it's going to say it. And she devoured the land and committed adultery with stones and with stocks. OK, worshiping these other powers, putting your putting your uh, your 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 um, your energy into these uh, these other philosophies. All right. Putting your energy into um, into pleasing the flesh, because that's ultimately an idol. All right. That's ultimately a uh, demon spirits, because the scriptures say. That the, the, the things that the Gentiles worship, they worship devils. So so we know that there's spirits on the left-hand side and there's spirits on the right-hand side. So if you're putting your time, your energy, oh, I gotta make money, I gotta get this money. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta marry, I gotta marry this woman. Okay? Oh, I don't I don't wanna pick up my cross. Or, you know, you're in you're in the faith, and, and now all of a sudden you're not reading as much, you're not hanging around brothers as much. Uh, you don't have that that you don't have that fervent spirit like you once had when you came into the truth. Are right, you're not watching the prophecies? Are right, you being lackadaisical? All right, if your woman, if your woman, your, your woman was with you, your, the woman of your the youth of your youth, like the scriptures talk about. All right, that young woman, she wants to just have sex all the time. She just wants to be around you all the time. All right, she's she's all about you. Before you before you even say you're hungry, she got food right there. All right. Which we probably never experienced that. Maybe on a low, certain brothers on a low level, you know, you get to a woman, you get a woman, you get a new woman, she's just all into you. All right. She called, she blowing up your phone. All right. All right where, where are you at? You know, what, what are you doing? When are you going to come back home? Or right, she just wants to be around you all the time. All right. And then all of a sudden, you know, months go by and then all of a sudden you kind of like, man, where's, where's this, man, where's this hoe at, man? Where, where, you know, where my woman at? She ain't texting you. When you text her, she ain't, she she used to text you back. Before you even get the text off, she already texting you back. All right, now she texts you back an hour later. Then it goes to two hours. Then it was all I was with my girl. All right, you food food. You might get a, a cooked meal every once a week. All right, what, what, what's going to be in your mind? All right, she's out there committing heart. She's out there committing um, whoredom. Or maybe she's not laying down with another man, but she's putting her time and effort into something else outside of you. Maybe it's her job. She's married unto that job, which the word married, married means to be joined unto. So anything that you're joined unto outside of Yahweh Bashem Shai, you're committing adultery. All right. And the most I can jack your ass up. All right. What you going to do? You going to grab that woman. Man, bitch, you better sit your ass down. You know, I don't want to, you know, I'm slocky for being so graphic. All right. You going to slap her around, you know. 
you know, give her that, that stern, that stern, that stern talk. All right. And that's what Yahweh Bashem al did to, to uh, his woman. All right. And, and the elect came back. All right. The elect are the only ones that are going to come back. So you, you, you being in this truth, knowing that the Lord, he's a jealous power. He can jack your ass up. All right. And, and, and knowing that we have to, we have to serve our, our husband. Okay. We have to be ravished with her love always. Okay. Rabbits with the love of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Right, we always want to be under that banner. We always, hey, where, where's the Lord? Hey, Lord, you always begging the Lord. You know, your woman, you know, she ain't got a job. She always begging you for money. Hey, can I get this? I want to do this. I want to, man, that's how we got to be to the Lord. Hey, look, look, Lord, I, I, need, I need more knowledge. I need Yahweh Bashem to keep the spirit on me. Lord, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, give me, give me more diligence. You know, praying to the Lord, praying and fasting, doing, doing what we ever, doing whatever we have to do for the Lord to hear us, man. All right, that's what you. That's what we gotta do. We gotta serve our husband. That she defiled the uh, the land and committed adultery with stones and stocks. It says, and yet for all for all this, her treacherous sister Judah have not turned unto me with her whole heart, but faintly, but faintly said, uh, but faintly uh, said the Lord. All right, you supposed to turn unto the Lord with your whole heart. All right, and the Lord said, the backsliding. Israel has justified herself more than treacherous Judah. All right. Uh, I think. Let me see. I think I think this is it. I mean, let me just. I think I'm, I think that was it on those scriptures. Yeah, that was it on those scriptures. Let me get uh, let me get this scripture right here, and then I'm gonna go into I'm gonna get this scripture. Uh. Yeah, I hit Jeremiah. I'm gonna get this scripture in 2 Corinthians 11, and then I'm gonna finish it off with Numbers, uh, Numbers the fifth chapter. All right. This is uh, this is 2 Corinthians 11 and two. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband. All right, one husband. You see that? This is Paul talking. That I may present you as a chaste virgin to Hamashiach. All right, so we have to, we, we're getting prepared for that wedding. The wedding is being prepared. And you can't have any stains on that garment, right? The, the woman, and they still practice this, this practice today. All right, and, that, and, that's, and, that's, and that's our custom, all right, for the woman to wear white, which represents purity, all right, that she has not been touched. So the Lord, uh, the Lord through Yahweh Shai, we have, we have now become virgins. That's why in Revelation, it talks about virgins that were not defiled. All right, it's not physical. It's not a physical uh, virginity, so to speak. All right, but um, it's a spiritual virginity, meaning, uh, meaning uh, these these other philosophies and doctrines and ways of life, because that's all that it is. You can commit adultery. You can go off and put your energy into something else, right? Because 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 being married just means joined unto. So being joined unto anything outside of this truth, outside of Yahweh Shai, okay, are pretty much spots on your wedding garment. And when Yahweh Shai comes back to present to present himself, the husband, okay, all right, he's going to uh, see like, man, this ain't my this ain't my woman. So pretty much the the uh, the token of your virginity, he's going to see that he's going to see that uh, that uh, you, you don't you don't have that, all right, so to speak, you don't have that token of your virginity. All right, what's a token of your virginity is um, pretty much when a when a when a uh, when when a man lays down with a woman, okay. When a man lays down with a woman, she's supposed to be she, uh, that cherry is supposed to be popped, right? And that blood is supposed to be on 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 that on that 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 garment that cloth, and you present that like, look, this is she's a virgin, okay. So we, so when the Lord comes back, we want to have that token of virginity, so to speak. Okay, not spiritually, not physically, spiritually, because we don't want to be defiled with anything out, anything else outside of this truth. All right, and 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 also to brothers, you know, mainly, mainly is to the brothers that are actually in the body. Okay, that believe on Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, and then the brothers that are actually watching. All right, anything that you put your spirit into. Right, you're joined unto it. You're married unto it. So we have to be married unto Yahweh Shai. So the scriptures say again, I said, it says, verse two, for I am jealous over you with, with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband. 
all right? So we are being espoused to that one husband, all right? That I may present you as a chaste version to Yahamashiach. So we want to be presented as a chaste version, all right? We don't want to be defiled in our mind, okay? When Yahweh Shai comes back, okay? Uh, that That's it on that, you know? Uh, you can read more in that chapter. It's pretty good. So let me get let me get uh, numbers. The fifth chapter, okay. Because uh, the Lord, He's our husband, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, and basically, all right. Yeah. So let me. Yeah. This is it. Basically, uh, is this 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 scripture applies spiritually to uh to you to Israel, all right. This is uh Numbers five and eleven, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and saying to them, If any man wife go go aside and commit trespasses against him, you see that, and we did that, and a male and a man like and a man like with her cardinally, and it be hid from the eyes of her husband, so you go out and you commit adultery with uh with uh with these other gods and it be kept close or with anything outside because it's really everything that you do outside in in its world is worshiping other gods worshiping idols so you have to put everything in the proper perspective all right and you and you you can't uh you can't be um held under held under the power of any of these spirits out here okay outside of save y'all bashim al the spirit of uh, the, the holy spirit all right uh raka kodash or uh kodash raka all right and she be defiled, all right, because you're defiled once you lay down and you worship these other gods, you worship yourself, you you worship these different philosophies, you worship the so-called white man, all right, you you worship the current, this current world, the lust, and there be no witness against her, okay, neither she be taken with the manner, all right, this is going into the physical, right, physically, and the spirit of jealousy come upon him, all right, so that spirit of jealousy will come upon a man. If you feel that your woman has been with another man, because that another man spirit is going to be on her, all right. And you can see it, man. You can see, you know, if you uh if you dealt with a woman, right, and you guys leave, you guys split up, maybe a, a six months from there, later, three months or a year later, you meet up with her. She got a total different spirit, man. All right, she got she got a lot of spirits on her, and those are spirits of men, all right. And he be jealous of his wife. And she be defiled. You see that? So the Lord, he's jealous over us, which we are his wife. And she be defiled or the spirit of jealousy come upon him. So the Lord, he got the spirit of jealousy on him. And he be jealous of his wife. And she be not defiled. All right. Then shall a man bring his wife unto the priest and he shall bring an offering for her. The tenth part of an ephod, a barley mill. All right. And he shall pour no oil upon it, nor frankincense thereof. For it is an offering of jealousy and an offering of memorial, bringing iniquity to remembrance. All right. In the in, in the in the in the prophet of the Lord it has have, have brought the iniquity to remembrance, remembrance of the of our former lives of all Israel. And the priest shall bring her near and set her before the Lord. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just finish it up. And the priest shall take holy water in the earthen vessel. And of the dust that is in the floor of the tabernacle, the priest shall take and put it into the water. And the priest shall set the woman before the Lord and uncover the woman's head and put the offering of memorial in, in her hands, which is the jealousy offering. And the priest shall, priest shall have in his hand the bitter water that causeth the curse. And the priest shall charge her by an oath and say unto the woman, if, if no man have lain with thee, and if thou hast not gone aside to uncleanness with another another instead of thy husband. So, man, the woman that you're with, man, she's unclean. All right. She's she's defiled. All right. She has she's been laid. She literally had laid down with scores of men. Be thou free from this bitter water that causeth the earth. And every average woman got at least 50 bodies on a man. All right. More than one body is enough. All right. Because she's getting popped. All right, maybe she, you know, she, maybe she got five bodies, but each nigga hit like a hundred times. All right, come on, man. But if thou hast gone aside to another instead of thy husband, and if thou be defiled, 
and some men have lain with thee beside thy husband, all right, then the priest shall charge the woman with the oath of cursing, and the priest shall say unto the woman, The Lord make thee a curse and an oath among the people, when the Lord does make thy thigh to rot and thy belly swell. You know, and I mean, I'll, 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 that, I'm done. I'm done there. But pretty much, you know, the, the 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 judgment is the judgment is if she. Let me get the judgment actually. Let me see. Pretty much. She get caught with adultery. She get caught with adultery, man. She gets put to death. I mean, you can read the story. I'm not going to go into it. But uh, I think that was it. I might have had one more scripture that I wanted to bring out. Uh, I, think that, I think that was it, Aki. Yeah, there was one more, man, but I, it escapes me. It escapes me at the moment. Yeah, but uh, pretty much, man, you know, um, you know, provoke not the Lord of jealousy all right, by putting your energy and time into other things outside of this truth. Of course, with balance, all things are, right, of course, you got to do certain things in, in this truth. I mean, in the world. All right. Uh, you know, you don't want to be over righteous, you know, and, you know, to, to every man's ability. All right. But you're supposed to search out the Lord wholeheartedly. So with that, I want to give uh, all praises to Yahweh Shai. Call out Yahweh Shai. Waha Raka Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Akim out there pushing his word and choosing the city. And, uh, you know, death to America, which is Babylon the Great. Death to you so-called white people, which are the Edomites. Death to you other nations, which are the heathen. All right. Death to two-thirds of the Israelites that don't want to come back to the Lord. And then death to the nigger woman. Shalom.